side of what really happens in our world. It's, it's almost yeah. like, you know, whatever people read in the headlines or they see on HGTV think is uh, what we live in, but it is a little bit more complicated than HGTV and the headlines. So oh, what's oh, true? <laughs> it's a little more complicated than showing three homes to buy <laughs> collectors at three million dollars. <laughs> right. Uh, although that does happen every once in a while, and those once are while. really good I'm times. <laughs> I'm still waiting, but yeah, I've heard that that does happen from time to time. Uh, those are really fun <laughs> times when that does happen, and you only sell th or show three homes for a three million dollar sale. Those are those are really good days. True. Um, so what's going on? Obviously, the median price keeps increasing, and I know we keep hearing that the price pricing is going down. Uh, the, the median has increased 29.3%, as you can see right here. I have my oversized cursor. So wow, I that's great. I love that. We don't even need our like cheaters on. <laughs> um, so the median sale price, again, this is for single family homes in Manatee County is just right around 550,000. The average price is a little over 700,000 and that's increased year over year, 25.8%. So roughly 26%. Now you can see the median time to contract. So this is why a lot of sellers, um, I highly recommend if you're a real estate professional to schedule your seller calls once a week. As soon as you have that listing consultation, they are going to need uh, updates weekly. And uh, last year, right, we didn't even have a chance to give them marketing reports or do right. weekly updates. Um, we might get one open house in and then multiple offers. But you can see we now have median time to contract 24 days. So sellers, uh, sit tight. We, we are working very hard for you. You can see you're still going to get a great price, if not more, but you might have to wait a little bit longer. We do have to work through educating the buyers that the interest rates are really not as high as they think they are. And again, we've had a lot of sellers participate in what we call buy downs. Uh, so buying down that mortgage rate on the behalf of the buyer is a win for everyone. There are so many creative ways for, you know, people still need to purchase homes and moves, life events happen, marriages, babies, downsizing, empty nesters, divorce, like there's so many life events that happen. So people are still needing to buy and sell property. And it's our jobs to educate ourselves so that we can present those creative solutions, right? You know, Absolutely. So we've got buy down programs and all sorts of different strategies to help people get into that next property. And you never know. So, you know, again, if you're a real estate professional, a referral partner receiving this, I mean, you know better than most of us reaching out. Uh, when we sent out our pie invitation, I already uh, got a listing appointment from that with a past client who is looking to potentially put their property on the market. It's a, a home that they lease out when they're not here. They do have a, a home in the Northeast and they want to relocate to be closer to some of their family members on the East coast of Florida. And then we have a lot of buyers coming from the East coast of Florida to Sarasota, uh, all the way down to Naples area in even Manatee County. In some cases, if they want to lease it out when they're not here, because the rental ordinances are a little less restrictive. That's right. Um, so a lot of interesting things going on and different migration migration patterns than we've ever seen before. The inventory has increased about 250%. So you can see we're almost at three months of inventory and that's better news for the buyers. Obviously we have more to choose from. And again, those sellers might be willing to work with you on a buy down if you uh, ask the right questions and at least have someone skilled to help you negotiate on your behalf. Yes, I think this market requires a lot more strategy than the market that we're coming out of, which right. is cool and exciting. And, you know, it's it's fun to get back to that. It really is. And I think our training calendar, you know, we've worked really hard to make sure in both uh, Keller Williams offices that one, you have your license in and then also being the CEO of Suncoast you know that training calendar has to be based around what we're experiencing right now. And uh, we've, we've done a great job with that. And we're getting really good feedback from the agents that it's just, it's fresh, it's what's relevant, it's what they're dealing with, and it's helping them go out and still get business That's and right. help others. Okay, so Sarasota market. 
we have 2.2. So again, we're increasing. We have 175% increase with inventory. I know it's uh, not three months or 2.8 like Manatee, but we are seeing it inch up and it's getting better and better each month. Now you will also see, again, look at that median sale price, 31.1% increase year over year. And then it's uh, average, uh, not quite the increase, but 16.9% just under 700,000. So very, very healthy price point and still um, a really good market for the seller to get their price. So is your little helper excited about these changes in the market? I think, yeah. I Mr. Mula, hopefully he's going to help us make lots of money in the, in the <laughs> market. He is uh, watching Mr. Loebker put up the Christmas light. So I think he's <laughs> excited about Christmas. I love it. He doesn't even know about Thanksgiving, so he's already ready. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. I think it's going to become his favorite holiday, too. Right. He might make a cameo before we uh, get off the call here. I love it. I think he should. <laughs> Give the people what they want. <laughs> um, okay, so switching over to luxury. This is uh, Lee County, and... <clears throat> You can see here the luxury benchmark is 925,000. It is a buyer's market with a total sales ratio of 14%. And then if you look down here, this is really the brief synopsis. I like to just give an overview for the viewers. Uh, single family luxury homes, again, buyer's market, a median of 96.1 of list price in October, 2022. We'll see what happens in November. And then the most active price band is 1 million to 1.1. And there, that's the sales ratio of 36%. And then the actual median sales price for single family homes is just over 1.2 million. And then again, the days are up, but not by much. Median days went up to 31 days versus the 25 days in 2020. So um, I will pull up Sarasota too. Uh, I wanted to share Lee just because uh, it is a buyer's market and some people are unaware of what's going on in luxury. So it gets a little, oh, Cash, come here. You want to go see what's going on? I'm going to let him out real fast. Okay, perfect. So for all of our friends joining us, Brandy's little helper, her friend, he's not so little. He's actually the largest of three <laughs> shepherds. Um, he's pure black and his name is Cash with a K. Um, he's definitely mama's boy. So <laughs> he is, you know, they always said there's something, well, we assume he's purebred because we don't know, right? We, we didn't buy him. We um, rescued him from another person. So we don't know if he is purebred. Obviously we don't have his papers, but I have been told my whole life, there's something special about all black German shepherds. And let me tell you, he's a special one in many different ways. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes okay. So this is uh, again, November report, which is October numbers for Sarasota and surrounding beach areas. Um, this luxury benchmark, we all know is just a little bit higher than Lee at a million and it's a balanced market. So yay, we have this balanced market right around six months of inventory. And let me tell you, my luxury buyers are thrilled. Some of them just were getting beat out on a lot of offers in the last couple of years. And so I'm getting calls from buyers that really, it's not a necessity for them to move. It is a luxury and they own multiple properties, at least, you know, two or three, if not, some of my clients have four and five properties. And so it wasn't urgent for them to make this move. And now that they have more options with their discerning taste, they're able to see three or four or five properties at a time versus having to rush for me to get a video of one property and it's just not worth, you know, what they wanted to um, pay or, or what the seller wanted them to pay at that time. It's a big decision. I, I mean, it is true what they say. I feel now going through this process myself, moving, buying all of it. I think that realtors should have to transact in real estate every five years just to remember what it's like. And yeah. You know, I mean, we're coming out of this market where, yes, we were encouraging people like you don't have a lot of time to sit on these properties and wait to make a decision to make the offer because it was going to be long gone. Yet, like now it is better because people can take a deep breath and really 
discover if it is the right property for them or how we need to modify their search. So I think it's 100%. great. For yeah, I think it all comes down to that listing and buyer consultation. Um, obviously, it's it's very stressful. I mean, I just went through it selling a house, buying a house. Uh, we sold a couple properties, actually. And you can always get a deal, right? I mean, you got an incredible deal where I was a little nervous. You know, it's a lot of property for you to take on. You know, I'm like mama bear. I'm always worried yeah. about my loved ones and making sure it's there. And I'm like, honey, this is a deal of a century. So really? I mean, there's always opportunity. I mean, we got an incredible deal. We, we saved our search and we still look at off market stuff that had our criteria just to see like, did we, did we really win? And we did not pay full price. We had a significant uh, amount taken off. Um, we actually negotiated repairs of an actual decent amount. We got a brand new roof on the, on the property, which was a better color than what was on it before. I yeah. mean, it just, it goes to show there's always a way in which you can get a deal and you can um, feel like you've won in a transaction. That's right. That's right. And you're right. I'm incredibly blessed. This is the the deal of a lifetime and I just couldn't walk away from it. So, you know, it's a big transition living a mile from downtown to having acreage and now livestock. Um, and we just, we couldn't be happier. So I love how you're downplaying acreage. I mean, we're, we're talking almost 40 acres. That's yeah. talk about blessing. And, and I love this story and I'm not going to share all the details because obviously it's not something we need to do, but you, you stayed in contact with this person and it was through real estate that you met them. Uh, you became friends with them. I knew them before you knew them and just a beautiful story to just stay in yeah. touch with people. I mean, we're in this business to build relationships. And when you build those relationships, it leads to so many other things. And, and not that that's why we got into relationship with the, this person, but it's just always treat people the way you would want to be treated like family. And you never know how beautiful uh, these relationships and, and things turn into. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. It, it totally is. And, you know, I think that we're a blessing to each other. You know, so I, I think that we were in the right position at the right time to to help this family move on to their next chapter. And, you know, everybody's winning, which is really great. And that's what we yeah. strive for. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I'm excited because they're actually coming back down for closing and, oh, and going to home with us. And, you know, they're just very dear friends now. So um, I love I'm excited for them to see us, you know, bring it back to what it's been for so many years um, and just get it back to being the, the gem that it really is. So. Yeah. Yeah. And I love it. And that's a lot to maintain, you know, and I think it just becomes a certain point in your life where of course, as much as you want to stay in a place, it sometimes isn't in anyone's best interest and in that family to continue. I mean, it can be a labor of love and um, you know, when you're young, it's always fun. right? And what's amazing, who could have guessed this, but the office, you know, that I'm the CEO for the Suncoast office is only 15 minutes away in rush hour traffic. So I'm moving closer to my office and, and to the agents that I serve in this area. Um, so I'm just super excited. Yeah, it's just all coming together. Well, very exciting since last month's update. Um, so we'll end this with the Sarasota market summary. And it's a balanced market once again. I love saying that. It makes my heart sing because it just, you have the equal amount of opportunity for sellers and buyers. Everybody's much happier in a balanced market. There's way less stress. Um, again, there's always opportunity. And the home sold for a median of 95.83%. So sellers, almost 96%. That's still very good. And same active price band. I, I, I'm seeing this in a lot of the luxury markets, except for Collier County. It's always been a little bit higher but one to 1.2 and then the median luxury sales price for single family homes, 1.7. So that's a really healthy uh, median luxury sale price. And then days on market are up again from 18 days to 26, but still, I mean, less than 30 days on the market for a luxury property. I think that's very healthy and, and everybody gets a, a good opportunity in the deal. 
Absolutely. Well, I hope everyone has enjoyed the October numbers for our November video market update. And, you know, I wish you all just the best during this holiday season. I hope that you are experiencing so much gratitude in your hearts. If you want to reach out to the coffee group everywhere on social media and our website is the coffee group or the coffee group.com. So pretty easy to remember. And our telephone number is 941-404-4737. If you just have questions about what's going on in real estate, you want to talk about what your property's worth or finding that next dream home, we're here to serve you. And if you're a client, a current client or a past client, and you, for some reason, forgot about our pie event that we do every year, we have fresh baked Yoder's pies. Uh, Brian picked them up today. Thank you, Brian Kraft, our marketing director. Uh, so he has all the pies being relocated to the different offices. So we have our Lake Ranch, KW Suncoast. We also have our Venice office on the island and then our repair and remodel interior design company on Hillview. So reach out with that number Megan gave you or email me at brandycoffee at thecoffeegroup.com to pick up your pie tomorrow. Fantastic. Thanks for tuning in, everyone, and enjoy your evening. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>